this morning, Winston-Salem firefighters say an overnight house fire is under control. Crews responded to Lemley Street just after one this morning. The fire department shared this video of them hosing down the home there. Thankfully, no one was hurt. The Red Cross is working to help four adults who are now displaced. Well, happening now in Greensboro, a former ROTC instructor is in jail facing rape charges. Daniel Smith worked at Smith High School. He's accused of raping a 17 year old student in his office. The accuser told investigators that they tried to fight Smith off and told a resource officer as soon as they could. Greensboro police say Smith told them the sex was consensual. He's being held on $2 million bond. His next court date is January 23rd. Investigators are trying to figure out who's behind a drive-by shooting near High Point Central High School. Officers say several people were arguing yesterday afternoon, including students. Then they say someone drove off before coming back and firing shots. Police say in front of a car in front of the school was hit, but no one was hurt in this. Well, police are also looking for whomever shot a person yesterday in Greensboro. This happened on Mizell Road near the Brannon Park apartment complex. Right now, police do not have any information on a suspect, and they haven't said how the victim is doing this morning. 803 in Commitment 2020, one of the Democrats looking to unseat Tom Tillis in the U.S. Senate says he will officially fire pa file paperwork on Monday. Cal Cunningham says he'll then head to Bennett College in Greensboro for an education roundtable. After that, he plans to talk to voters in his hometown of Lexington. The students and staff at all UNC system schools will be able to use their college ID to vote. A voter ID law goes into effect next year, and the State Board of Elections rejected the IDs earlier this year. The board approved more than 150 types of photo IDs that voters can use to cast a ballot. And Democratic presidential candidate Pete Buttigieg is making a campaign stop in our state this weekend. He'll be in Goldsboro on Sunday. He plans to talk about poverty at the Reverend William Barber's church. Barber is the co-chair of the Poor People's Campaign and the former president of the North Carolina NAACP.